Hi everybody, today I'm going to be talking really quickly about the Lorac Refined Romance Eye and Cheek Palette. Is this Lorac or is it Lorac? Lorac. Lorac. I have no idea which one. I'm going to go with Lorac because it sounds fancier. Okay, I got this on sale at Nordstrom's when they're having their like big anniversary event or whatever for $18. And I thought it was really pretty so I had to go ahead and grab it. I didn't need it at all but you know. This is what the palette looks like. I think it's really pretty. It has these really pretty flowers on top that have a sheen to them and then the black packaging is kind of like, not a matte, but maybe like a satin. So in, oh, inside we have this nice long mirror here with Lorac on the top, a little Lorac plastic thing. <laughs> then we have our, oh I don't want to bend it back too far, I don't want to break it. Ah. Then we have our shadows and our cheek palette part. They look gorgeous. I'm really excited to test these out. I will be swatching them for you today. It looks here like we have a blush and then a really shimmery pink highlight and then like a whiter highlight. I'm guessing that's what it is. And then over here we have six shades, two of which seem to be matte, these two here. And then we have shimmers for the rest. So I'm really excited to try it out. I was looking to see if the shades had names or anything, but they're literally called Shade 1, Shade 2, Shade 3, Shade 4, Shade 5, and Shade 6. And then it's Highlighter 1, Highlighter 2, and then Blush. So there's no like fancy names or anything like that with it, but that's okay. Alright, let's go ahead and test out Shade 1. Here is Shade 1 swatched on the back of my hand just really quickly with my finger. It is very pretty. It has a nice iridescent sheen to it. It is very white though. But I, I think it's really pretty. I like it. Next we have shade 2, which is this gorgeous copper gold color. It's so buttery and smooth in the actual palette, and it goes on like a dream, especially with your finger. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. Next up we have shade 3, which is kind of like another coppery color, but it's more of like a deep maroon color with a little bit of copper hints in it. This one is very pretty as well, but it's not as pigmented as shade 2. Next up we have shade 4, which I think would make a fantastic transition color. A little bit of like a grayish pink. It is very matte, but there is a little bit of fallout in it. I had to swipe back and forth a couple times with my finger to really work in the powder. Here we have shade 5, which is like a purpley iridescent color. This one also isn't super pigmented. And there was a little bit of fallout, but it is very pretty. It did feel smooth when I was swatching it with my finger. Here is shade 6. It is kind of a deep maroon color. This one is a touch patchy, and there is fallout with it, but it is a very buttery shadow. And I think it's a beautiful color, especially for the fall. Alright, moving on to the face part of this palette. We have highlighter 1 here, which is, whoa, whoa, very intense highlight. Look at that. It looks very white when I'm showing it to you on here because my laptop just does not pick up color like it should be. Unfortunately, that's all I have to film on. It isn't this like stark white. There is a very like peach tone to it. Swatching it, you can also see that it is appearing very, very white on my hand. But when you blend it in, it just gives this gorgeous iridescent sheen. So I think it's very pretty. I like it a lot. Okay, next up we have Highlighter 2, which is definitely more pink than the first one, and it also gives a gorgeous sheen, especially when you buff it in. It looks absolutely beautiful. I really like these highlighters. I'm impressed by these. You know what? I really don't think my highlight's all that impressive right Oh! <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> so I'm just gonna play with my finger a little bit. Just kind of... Alright, that's... That's more like it. That's a highlight. All right, let's put a little some dabs up here. Probably should be doing this with a brush of some sort, but eh. All right, and that helps step up my highlighter game just a little bit, especially on the tip of my nose. Okay, and finally we have the blush in the face palette, which I think is super pretty. It is a mauve blush. It's not too pink, not too vibrant, and that's my favorite type of blush. The one I'm wearing today is like super pink, and I'm not really, not really sure about it. But this one I think is beautiful. It's really creamy and I think it'll blend into the skin amazingly. Okay, and that is the entire palette. This was $18. I think they said it was like a $30 value or something like that. 
and I really like it. I think it's going to look beautiful on my makeup stand, and I'm happy I got it. Really quick before this video ends, I wanted to talk about Birchbox. In my last Birchbox unboxing, which I'll link below for you guys, I received a broken shadow, and I put that video up, and then I had tons of comments, people just saying, oh, my shadow is broken too. I watched this person's video, and their shadow is broken too. Someone I know, their shadow is broken also. Like, everyone's eyeshadow, their Amanda Carter eyeshadow was broken. I just want to let you guys know if you haven't already, please contact uh, Birchbox customer service and they will issue you a replacement. Um, I got mine the other day. They sent it in this box and the shadow itself did come fully intact this time. So I just want to let you guys know really fast, just if you received a broken shadow or you know someone who's received a broken shadow, either you go to customer service or let them know that they should contact customer service, tell them about the issue and they will send you a new one. And I just want to let you guys know that so you're not, you know, disappointed that you received a broken shadow and had to, like, throw it away or something like that. And, yeah, that's everything for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. It would be fantastic if you did. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You guys. No. <laughs> All right, you guys. I just finished my palette review and I was cleaning up everything and, like, getting ready to make lunch and things like that. And I was carrying boxes back into my room when I heard the terrifying sound of falling as I was carrying stuff and it was my palette. I just reviewed my Lit Rock palette and look at what happened to it. It's so sad. These two shadows down here busted and I'm just so sad. I just have the worst luck with eyeshadows. I don't know what it is. If someone can tell me what's going on, why I can't keep an eyeshadow from breaking, just let me know because every eyeshadow, I swear, I bust. I just wanted to show you guys what I did. This time it was nobody else's fault besides my own. I take full responsibility. I shouldn't have been carrying boxes like this, like I was like a waiter at a restaurant. And um, yeah, just wanted to show you guys what happened. Anyway, I'm going to try to fix it like I fixed my graveyard girl one. Um, <laughs> but that's it. I hope you have a great day. And for future reference, just don't let me ever hold dry shadow. Just, if we ever meet, and I'm like looking at your like makeup collection, just, I'll stand at least two feet back so I don't break anything. <laughs> uh, anyway, have a great day guys. Bye. <laughs>